Jeff Ordauer. I'm the director of MORE, Missourians Organizing for Reform and Empowerment. We're the authors of this report, Transforming St. Louis County's Racist Municipal Courts. We want to break down the two parts of this title of our report. So the first is, let's address the racism issue. That is absolutely true. Reginald can talk about this is not just an issue in North County, but if you look at the compositions of the courts in Maplewood, or who attends the courts in Maplewood, in Chesterfield, in Brentwood, they disproportionately affect African Americans. And Reginald and Kiana will address that right now. For several years now, we've been paying attention to all of this because it has affected our lives. I have lived daily with the fear of going to jail. As we've been in these courts, we've been in Chesterfield, we've been in Florida, we've been in Berkeley, we've been in Pine Line. It's totally disproportionate. People of color uh, are, are, are the most people in these courts, whether it be Chesterfield, whether it be Jennings, whether it be Pine Line or St. Louis City. Uh, this system uh, directly has shown us that uh, our racial profiling has led us to inundate all the courts. We outnumber anyone in this situation. And so therefore we're saying this is a system that is not working and that definitely needs to be addressed. So Kiana was saying you were in Brentwood Court. Yes, I was in Brentwood Court just Step on Monday. Please, I'll say your name too. My name is Kiana Williams and I was in Brentwood Court on Monday. And the ratio was about 90% African American and about 10% Caucasian and other races, which is not a good uh, representation of the community in Brentwood. So as you can see, this is a fundamentally racist system that affects all of St. Louis County. The second part of the report is where it talks about municipal courts. And court is also the term that we want to use because these are not courts as we know them. And in fact, very, it's very loose, the description of court to describe municipal courts. Where you're holding court in a gymnasium, where you have prosecutors who are moonlighting as judges or judges who are moonlighting as criminal defense attorneys, these are not courts of law. These are predatory collection agencies on the back of people of color and on the backs of the poorest people in the county. These are not courts in any way, shape, or form. And that is why we need to transform and abolish the racist municipal court system in St. Louis County. Kiana Williams is gonna talk a little bit about her experience. Reginald may say a couple more words and then we're gonna talk about our recommendations. I can't hear. My name is Kiana Williams. I'm a mother and I'm a student. And bench warrants have uh, navigated and shaped the course of my life. Um, the police have arrested, arrested me many times uh, for traffic ticket bench warrants. On one occasion, I was arrested in 2002. Uh, I was assaulted, actually. And when I called the police, they found the guy and they brought him to my house and they told me to step outside and ID him. That is when I was arrested for traffic ticket bench warrants and he was released. On another occasion, the police arrested me and um, I was held for two weeks in the middle of a school term and I was unable to catch up and I lost my Dean's List status and I also incurred fines that I could not pay for failing that semester. And so education was not a way away from these debts. I was arrested um, on one occasion. I could not get my daughter from school. My car was towed. For an excessive amount of time, I was arrested. 17 days was the most. And I've only uh, had traffic ticket warrants. Um, I've been homeless because I can't get a job due to these bench warrants. And um, many, many other things over, over the course of my life, I have had to deal with these bench warrants and uh, these municipal courts should be dissolved. Thank you. Well, what I'd like to let you know for a, a minor infraction of speeding, uh, my car was towed, I was carried to jail, I lost that car, I lost my job, so I lived in fear daily as to not know when I would go to jail. Uh, I could not get a job, I could not pay my bills. 
and I felt as though I was criminalized for something very minor. And this is why we are here, to address this issue. There are many people in my community, and I work in the community with lots of people. Many people of color can't come to Clayton, Missouri. We can't go a lot of places because we're in fear of going to jail on a daily basis for minor infractions. Uh, not only have I lost a job, I lost a car, I lost my self-dignity. I lost a lot of things in this process. It's held me down as though I was a criminal. I could not get a job, I couldn't pay my bills, and all for minor traffic infractions. So, but this is why we're here to address this issue. The devil needs some, the racial profiling must stop. The racial profiling must stop because these communities are pulling over people of color for no given reason. On many occasions, they will uh, find something wrong. And from that point, uh, your life is impacted so tremendously. I just cannot explain to you in this press conference the, the great deal of uh, just humiliation, living in fear, and not being able to get a job for minor traffic infractions. So, although, so right now we are here at the doorstep of a new county executive, Steve Stenger, but we are fearful that it will be the same old, same old, that he is gonna do nothing to address the systemic racism and the predatory collection practices of these, I don't even wanna call them courts, but these collection agencies masquerading as some warped form of justice. And we are hoping that perhaps the new executive Stenger will say, at least say something and move forward on the path of delivering justice um, within the region. So we're now gonna move to our recommendations for what County Executive Stenger and others can do to change the municipal court system. I'll start. So there's some immediate changes. We want relief for people who have outstanding bench warrants. So we call on all municipalities in St. Louis County to immediately eliminate all outstanding fines in their entirety and permanently cancel any warrants associated with those offenses. We also call for a moratorium on bench warrants issued for failure to appear in municipal court until changes have been made to the municipal courts. We want to abolish and dissolve these municipal Courts. We also would like to eliminate jail time for um, nonviolent offenses. What we'd like to do is that we're not asking for a free ticket here. We ask for a system, uh, the design where we can address it, where we would do a, a form of time banking, where we we'll commit a service or render service to our community rather than pay uh, a monetary value. Uh, or uh, a person pays according to their income. Uh, to be adjusted, uh, but we definitely want to address this system, and we're not asking for a free ticket. We'd like to uh, offer some solutions of our time banking, which would uh, totally uh, work for this community and for the people like myself. And then finally, we join with and support the Organization for Black Struggles Quality Policing Initiative. So what happens in the streets and how police are practicing in the streets is directly interrelated to what happens in the courts. It is a larger system of criminal justice that needs to be reformed, restructured, and transformed. Does anyone else, uh, anything else we need to say, or should we take questions now? How about well, we take questions? Is Stanger the right audience for this? Well, Rachel, as you know, we've been also to Judge McShane. We're going to many ways. I mean, this is not a simple, the reason why this racist predatory debt collection system is perpetuated is because there's not one clear person who can change everything. And everyone says it's someone else's problem. So Judge McShane over there, Judge Mark McShane, the presiding judge, says this isn't really her problem to solve. County Executive Stenger says it's not his problem. Everyone's passing the buck. And the reality is there are lots of layers to this problem and many folks can do a lot of things. And in fact, if you put some pressure on the whole system could very easily topple and these municipal courts could be abolished.